we've always been in love with the city of Charleston. I, uh, I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's because it's one of the oldest cities in the United States. Maybe it's because it's got one of the youngest populations in the United States. Uh, the blend of various cultures and influences that all come together in the city of Charleston was something that was really inspiring to us. So we did a deep study into the city and its culture and its heritage and created a collection that was informed by over 300 years of history uh, that you can find in the city of Charleston. The Charleston Regency Collection features a myriad of wonderful techniques, finishes, and uh, materials that uh, really go into making great, beautiful high-end furniture. Uh, pyramid mahogany is being used with fancy face inlay. We're using silver leaf. We've got beautiful high gloss finishes that are found in the most uh, fashion forward contemporary designs. Uh, we've got English walnut that we're using and uh, a, a number of different lacquer uh, techniques and carving motifs that, that really speak to classic design uh, but done in a fresh perspective. Charleston is known for its hospitality and its entertaining and there is a formal element to, to Charleston that um, we, um, we definitely paid attention to. Uh, the Oyster Point dining table, for example, is a 10-person dining table that has a beautiful pyramid mahogany top. But what we didn't want to do was have a stuffy, uh, overly traditional uh, look to the, to the pattern as a whole. So what we did was we painted the undertop molding and base in a beautiful gray linen finish that uh, has a silver strie in it. It's just a, uh, a kind of a funky take on traditional, which I think makes the Charleston Regency Collection really unique. There's a lot of really authentic elements in the, uh, in the design of each piece. Four poster beds in, uh, in Charleston culture often had agricultural elements carved into them. Um, we found that uh, there were a lot of rice poster beds in Charleston, uh, but we wanted to take that motif, that rice turn post motif and apply it to a case. So you have this beautiful projecting frieze into a rice carved post that's carved 360 degrees uh, on all sides. So great, uh, great design element repurposed in a different way to, uh, to make a unique statement. Livable glamour was an important aspect to the collection that uh, we wanted to incorporate. So um, you'll see a beautiful juxtaposition of textures and finishes in, uh, in a number of pieces. The Rope Maker's White finish is a high sheen polished lacquer finish which really contemporizes traditional elements like the astragal motif that you'll see uh, in a number of different pieces. But when you combine that with a clear walnut finish over English walnut, you've, get, you've got this lovely textural uh, balance that I think uh, makes the piece really unique. What we didn't want to do was betray the overall beauty of the materials themselves. So when we use a clear walnut finish like this, you can really see the wood grain showing through and really see that uh, the, the veneer patterns are really different uh, from piece to piece. So I think that's part of the beauty of a collected home and part of, a, part of the beauty of a, a collected uh, uh, aesthetic. One of the hallmarks of great design is paying attention to scale and proportion as it relates to various pieces throughout the home. And that's something that we spent a lot of time looking at. You'll notice that the side chairs in the collection are very appropriately scaled for the various tables that they go around. So we've got this lovely uh, form with a yoke back design on the top. And then we blended uh, almost a transitional aesthetic into the back itself. So it's a blend of traditional elements and contemporary elements to create something very unique. The overall weight of the chair is, uh, is beautiful in its proportion. And uh, the carving details throughout on all sides of the chair uh, are really a hallmark of quality. Charleston, South Carolina has got a vibrant social scene. It's uh, home to some of the most cutting edge nightlife and cutting edge restaurants that you're gonna find anywhere in the United States. In fact, Condé Nast Traveler just named Charleston one of the best American cities uh, to visit. So, and for the second year in a row. So it was a, it was a, that aspect that really drove us to create some things that were a little more uh, cutting edge. So taking some rare, very traditional elements and contemporizing them with uh, high, high sheen and high gloss lacquer finishes, I think really speaks to that same avant-garde uh, style that you'll see in some of the areas of Charleston. 
we've got beautiful uh, foliage carving motifs on the cathedral bed, and again, an astragal motif in the panel itself. But when you see it uh, all done in white, it really takes on a life of its own. We have a number of finishes in the Charleston Regency collection. Some of them are a little more whimsical than others, but they're all authentic. Uh, two colors that I want to point out are Charleston Green and Church Coral. Uh, both can be found in architecture that dates back for centuries, but add a pop of color to the design of any room and are really fun to work with. The Trinity Cocktail Table is one of the uh, signature designs in the Charleston Regency Collection. One of the things that I like about it is the pierced apron that you see around the, uh, around the top of the table itself. That uh, design motif was taken off of an old screen door that we found when we were researching the collection. That's how they made screen doors back then, were these beautiful brass turnings and twists that made that uh, interesting trellis pattern. So we've incorporated, incorporated that theme into a lot of different uh, pieces throughout. Another unique thing about that Trinity cocktail table is the fact that it's three tables in one. So you can feel free to pick one up and carry it to the other side of the room if you want to uh, use it to uh, set something down on. Or when they're all three combined, it makes for a really pretty uh, style statement. So great piece.